Here's the boys. Make some noise. But the hell, you got a shirt on for it. Yeah, I'm hosting, ain't I? Mate, I've got an Adidas t-shirt. Mia's all over the gap. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's a special occasion. Look. Yeah, that's bang on. Then I was casual. Tom's got a suit on. Here he is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Mate, I feel I'm, I might just go and have to put a shirt on. Quickly, Cookie, you look at the disgrace. I'll just see what's in the covers. Hold on, how do I get everyone up on it? Put on the gallery view, Tom. There we go. Oi, oi. How are you, Frano? Uh, good, mate, you? Strong tan? Yeah, you know what? I think it's just out on the bike. Is it? Yeah. It's smashing the bike, yeah. Hello. 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 Matty today, Matt Ritchie. I spoke to Matty the other day. He, he's back in Ringwood, yeah, isn't he? Hello, lads. Uh, hello, buddy. What's that name? Is he? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, man, this is like one of our nights out, oh, Cookie. You come down underdressed and go back and get changed again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not a problem. Look at them arms. <laughs> Look how long the arms look. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've got, got a little reunion here from the, uh, the championship days. So, um, just wanted to talk through the whole season, really. Obviously, the, the other day on, on um, the Bournemouth YouTube was the Charlton game. That's the first time I watched it back, the full game. I was trying to get Jude on it, but he's not really interested when it's championship games. He only wants to see the Prem boys. So, I was trying to teach him that. That's where we, uh, that's where we came you. from. That's where we, yeah, I know. That's where we uh, <laughs> made our name. So, it was good to watch that back, but I haven't seen it back since then. But... Obviously, just wanted to talk about the start of that season. Pre-season was Austria, if you remember it. The Copenhagen long, game long at the trip, uh, graveyard. It? Remember that Copenhagen game? Yeah. I, I actually yeah. took I text Cookie the other day because I couldn't remember where we went for the life of me. I was trying to trying to remember. Um, and then he, he, he reminded me, me, to be fair. Well, yeah. I had, um, who played in the second half of that? Because we... The second half? <laughs> I think we were 3-0 up at half-time. <laughs> <laughs> the second. Yeah, I played the second half. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. But that makes sense. Uh, really, know, sometimes it? they say some of the toughest trips, you know, you, you get you prepared even better because it was one of them where it was isolated. There was nothing around, wasn't there? There was no. nothing to do in the downtime. So there was a good no. chance to just concentrate really on the football. And the transfers in that summer, actually, just looking at them, we had we got Callin then, uh, Gozo came in, Junior and Sir signed permanently. So how much of a difference do you think those boys made straight away? To be yeah. fair, Gozo fit in well early, didn't he? And Cal. I thought all three They stayed at the village, didn't they? All three of them. I just remember they just instantly took to the group and we took to them. Um, and yeah. it, it, was a tough, it was a tough group to sign for because we was a strong group. Um, yeah. As you know, there were like seven or eight of us that, that were really tight. And um, I, I think as well, the process... We never used to like, we used to make it easy for lads to, to settle in, but not too easy. We used to like introduce yeah. them into the group slowly and they would have to earn our trust and, and, and likewise for them. Um, but I remember them three just straight away come in and we was, like, I always remember going for coffees with the boys and we'd, we'd still be in Starbucks at, at six o'clock and the three of them would be there with us. And, yeah. Uh, no, I think then, their personalities definitely complemented. Yeah. Our, our squad and it was three yeah. great, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, I think historically we would sign around that time, sign lads that maybe the manager knew or head of recruitment at the time knew would fit into the squad. And Cow had a reputation, obviously a goal scorer, and we uh, we obviously realised if we're going to get promoted, we need someone to replace Grabs at the time um, and take us up. And Cow basically hit the ground running, didn't he? Because our first game was had a good away. I just I just remember his first training session. Oh, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Ripping his shirt off, ripping his shirt off for the yo-yo test, and then lobbing the goalkeepers. <laughs> that, that's his, still his best finish, and, I think. And until now, that's still his best finish. That is a fact. That's his best session in <laughs> in his career. Yeah, he was comfortable from from minute one. Um, yeah, Tom, what did you think about the the group from from that first game? Did you think we had a chance early on? Because I can't really remember myself thinking, yeah, I think we get promoted this season. I, I knew we had a strong squad and. The season before obviously put us in a good position mentally yeah. and physically. We had a couple of tough losses, but what did you think? 
I thought, um, yeah, obviously getting off to a good start, Cal getting his first goal away, um, his first goal for the season, sorry, get, getting us sort of on our way. Um, that's always a big thing for any striker. Um, it wasn't until about two or three games, and I think we played Forest on a Friday night, and there was yeah. a little bit of a um, sky, sky were down, and uh, people were sort of taking us a little bit serious. Um, but then we, we slipped off it a little bit, and I don't know, I think the mentality of the manager and the mentality of the group, we never really stopped to think that we could do it. We just, it was always the next one. I remember speaking to Gozo, I've always said this pre-season, um, and he was sort of blown away by the standard and, and the training. So that filled me with a bit of confidence. And I, I think, like you said, um, the year before, uh, it was a sticky start to the championship, but we ended mm. with, with some brilliant momentum and just thought if we could get off to a good start. I think, realistically, we were looking to knock on the top six door, weren't we? Yeah. Um, it, it just it just grew. And, and, and once we got going, I, I don't think there was any looking back, was there? No, I think, um, I don't know if you remember, lads, but my uh, last goal was against Wigan at home. And that's when, uh, that's when oh, I knew we were. Third man ran. Third man ran. The old 2 0 win at home. That was a. Uh, to be honest, that was yeah, nothing, until we went to. I'm not, not necessarily skipping games, but we didn't have a great start. I'm just looking at it now. We only won three out of the first eight. So we were a bit hit and miss. Um, to be fair, a couple of draws here and there. Even drew with Rotherham at home, then we lost to Leeds at home. They beat us 3 1. And then the draw at Watford away, I remember we played really well. Harry scored a screamer, didn't he? Yeah, is that um, when Hart did Hart miss a penalty? Hart, he was playing. Yeah. Was that, was that early, early, wasn't it? I might have come off that game. Did I come off that game? I know Hart, he was playing. I remember him scoring. It was on TV that game. When Hart, uh, yeah, it was on TV, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, again, we started, the run then started Cardiff away. In the Capital One Cup, we won 3-0. Then the Wigan game at home, 2-0. Derby beat us away at Derby. And then we started going on a bit of a run, especially when Yanni got sent off in that game against Bolton, away from oh, home. From that. Point, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. yeah, that it was, was exactly what I was going to say. I think that was, a, that was a big night for us, the way, away at Cardiff in the Cup. Um, obviously, the manager used to do it quite a bit. He still does change the team for the Cup games. And because I, I saw two, didn't he? Yeah, yeah because I scored two. I remember Sean McDonald played, um, and for me that was the best bit about our squad was the underbelly. The the, the lads who would come in. Uh, we went on a great cup run. Um, I think we got to the quarterfinals of, of the Carabao Cup, didn't we? Or yeah. Carabao Cup, whatever it was then. Capital One um, Cup, then yeah. Beat yeah, West and I think that was a big night for us. That that Cardiff game in the cup. Yeah, I remember that game because Hart was playing. I think a few games before it and. I knew that I had to actually perform in that game if I was going to get the jersey back. And, you know, we, we went there and we actually played really well. And you say the people that hadn't actually played at the start of the season, their personality really shone through in the way that we played and dominated and, say, outplayed Cardiff was, was, was quality. And then that really, as Tommy said, put us on a, on a good stead for the rest of the season. Yeah, and I think, like those signings in the summer, I do think they made the squad a lot stronger and, and more competitive. Because I remember when we signed Smithy the season before, and I had a little bit of a dip in performances because I was thinking, well, we signed Smithy from Tottenham. He's a good player. He's been at the club before. And I thought, you know, what's, what's going to happen here with me? Huh? And I felt like that gave me the kick up the backside that I needed to really go and perform that next level, to A, stay in the team and then perform my best. Um, obviously, we, we got Elliot Ward in, Tom, and he played a couple of games, but you you kept that shirt and got, got in the team and obviously ended up with this the strong team that we had in the championship and we got promoted and I think the partnerships was what started to gel like massively all over the pitch. I know you can say yes. that in a lot of teams and it's a bit of a, a cliche but you and Cookie centre ass were like unbeatable. Chaz and Pewey out the, out the other side, me and Matty on the right, even H and Sirs, it just everything was clicking for us. Yeah, I think um, like, like, like you said there, it was definitely the ones they did the recruitment team and the manager just pieced together such a good squad. It was even like Gozo coming in for, with his reputation. Yeah. He had a big reputation and kept Harry and Serge on their toes. Junior Stanislas coming in, um, Harty behind Chaz. That that was the strength of, of the whole thing, really. That, the, the Maybe the 11 that weren't quite playing. And that's just us four sort of leaders at the time and keeping them engaged in the squad and keeping them 
part of it was one thing, but I think as well, the way the manager kept them on board. I think all of them knew yeah. that they were improving under him. Mm. Uh, to be fair, big man coming in as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Big man was a big... Obviously, Campy had done really well. It was very unfortunate to, to drop out of the team, but uh, yeah. when big man came in, he was a massive yeah. presence, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I remember when experience signed, I couldn't believe it had come down. Yeah. Yeah, no, we've got to talk about the um, the Birmingham away win because that was we was on a massive roll then, and to win eight 0 away from home in the champ was just a, a massive day. Obviously, Pew Dog getting his hat trick. Um, just what we Go mentioned, Pew. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but we give Pew a little mention. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen his his Instagram recently, and uh, oh, he's yeah. getting into the food side of things. He's top chef, isn't he? He's had a little haircut as well, hasn't he? Yeah. Has he actually had his hair done or is it just skinhead? No, he, he, I think he's gone for the Mane. <laughs> Mark Mane. <laughs> he's gone for the Mane trim. Uh, Fury, though, what a guy, great, great player. He just improved every yeah. single season and was unplayable at times, Chaz. You obviously played with him on the oh. left, but what was he like to yeah. play with? He was, they say, Fury was just so reliable and just so honest about everything he did. And, you know, the chop that he did, I mean, we, in training, we knew it was coming. But when you see it in, in games, and I knew I knew he was going to chop it, but you see how many defenders just fell for it every single time. Mm. It was it was crazy. And then it even worked when he, we played in the Prem as well. You know, he just showed his hard work. He, he went through the whole, from League 2 all the way up. Uh, Pure Pure is like a man of his own, isn't he? Unbelievable. So professional. Yeah. Yeah, he is. If anything, he's, he's got more professional, I think. He's the way he's getting up himself now. Well, he said his body fat's the lowest he's ever been, isn't it? Now. Yeah, it probably is. To be fair, yeah. He, he, he he's looks unbelievable. Good. Yeah, he's in good shape, that's for sure. Um, no, I started all this, by the way, all this chef stuff, when he's now he's left. Yeah, no, he didn't. Well, he didn't. Well, he would have got banned at the life arm if he's still doing it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable he started off a bit ropey I've got to be honest he's definitely improved <laughs> yeah uh, to be, I, I was a big fan of the um, sweet potato bread he done <laughs> it didn't really take off as much as he wanted to that the old sweet potato toast I think he was yeah. trying to invent uh, no, he's anyway, had a few, to be okay. fair he's had a few good ones that I've st- well I haven't stolen them I don't cook but the household has stolen so he's done a right period he brings a book out he bring a book he's out got a great pizza it. oven he has to be fair. And he likes a glass of red a day. Oh, Hold on, lads. What are we talking about here? <laughs> hey, look. He's a Bournemouth legend, Tom. <laughs> this, this, is like, this is what we was as a group, though, weren't we? We was, we was open and honest and we, we could yeah. plan about anything. It was just such a... Yeah, right, let me tell you, Pew would be happy with this, mate. I'm telling you. You <laughs> wait till he hears this. No. Yeah, he'll, he'll be loving it. <laughs> uh, so yeah we got to December and we had some big big wins really I guess not necessarily a turning point but just the role that we were on um, beat Wolves away remember that game Cookie that was a good game wasn't it they got, yeah, did they get a man sent off for an elbow on you bro I took one for the team yeah you did took one for the team you, 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 you melted didn't you no, yeah. no. I, I was a concuss mate <laughs> he um, dodgy touch and he um, he ended me was it Van La Parra? Uh, was yeah, that home? Yeah. No, that was away. Uh, that was when um, Last Thierman headed one off the line. Unbelievable. And then Matty rifled it in. He was and all Tommy, along the goal, Tommy, goal Tommy, line. Tommy had his Tommy, own celebration yeah. in the middle of the box. <laughs> yeah. 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 So those are the times, though, when you, even when you score late in the celebrations, you kind of you get that feeling, get used to it, and you, you almost know you're on, on something special, especially those, around those games when we were winning a lot. I think the two Wolves games that year at home, two one, and in yeah, a way, yeah. okay, they were yeah. two two big games for us because Wolves, obviously, massive club. Um, up there was a great great result, and it? it was Matty. We went one 0 down, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, um, we kind of like won in different ways, didn't we that year? Yeah, then we beat Gar- Cardiff at home. Um, Blackpool away on. I remember that the worst pitch I think I've oh. ever played on. In my whole yeah. career, um, yeah, but we were brilliant. We were brilliant. Yeah, we were, yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, Fulham away, Cookie. If you want to, you want to lead us off on that. Do you have any good memories about that one? 
Yeah, Brett obviously um, started us off well. We it was just, it was a funny night. It just seemed perfect as soon as we turned up. I yeah. think. Um, did we have a night out after it? God, oh, did we, Tom? We had a weekend out. <laughs> it was Friday yeah, night. I come out on the Saturday. I don't think I come out on the Friday. That was the thing when, when obviously in the champ when we were winning, we we kind of could arrange different team events, and every time we arranged something, we stepped up and we we never let ourselves down. Do you know what I mean? It was yeah, but that um, made a difference, didn't it? Because you knew all the lads would be there. You knew you'd have twenty, twenty-five lads. Hundred percent. I think that made us like even when I first got to the club, it was very fractured and a bit disjointed. And I, I always remember our first Christmas night out. We went to a place called Rose in London, and it just from then on. <laughs> we had such we we was all similar ages, weren't we, and stages yeah. in our lives and the gaffer was all for it at the right time and like Cookie said, when we organised one we, we would deliver and it just brought us all together, didn't it? Yeah, that, yeah. but that Friday night at Fulham was just perfect, wasn't it? I think we set up I was on Sky as well, sent out a big message to the rest of the mm -hmm. rest of the teams that we were we were I think one of the favourites to go up then. Especially with the Definitely. goals you scored. You meant, you meant that as well, Cookie, didn't you? Top bin. Oh, 100. I just cut across the ball, si. and That was you when knew, I could actually... You? Yeah, I could, hit, I could hit a ball back then. Got, um, yeah, because they today. had a man sent off as well, didn't they? And we just, we just opened them up yeah. after that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You right, there. Yeah. That foreign cent it was foreign centre-half that sent off, didn't he? Yeah, Italian guy, I think. Yeah. I can't remember now. And then, obviously, think, we went to... Brett, um, Brett, he's run. Go on. Brett, goal, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think obviously when he scored that, it kind of opened everything up for us. Didn't it? And then we had Borough at home the game after that. that was um, good. Big game, yeah. We went to Dubai yeah. straight after, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that was that was a great trip because off the back of a couple of wins, you know, you everyone's in good spirits. Yeah. Harry scored an absolute worldy. Worldy, wasn't it? Well, when did um, we play Brighton? Brighton what? was when we got back. It was quite late on, wasn't it? Is it? All oh, right. Okay. That must have been... So, the away game, Tom, when, March, when Jan right. scored the free kick? Yeah. Must be March. That was... Um, a... Yeah, 4-2 went against Birmingham, put us a point clear at the top. Chaz and Cookie scored. Go on, Chaz, what goal was that? Oh, go oh, on. He bounced it in. He bounced oh, it in. Oh, was it when you smashed it down? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the complete when you smashed it into the ground. Oh, no, no. We went 2-0 no. we down that day. Yeah, me, me and you had a... <laughs> me and you had a... Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Clayton really? Donaldson. What happened? Oh, okay. oh my God. <laughs> he was Cottrell. Clayton oh. Donaldson. I, I remember Cottrell skipped past me like <laughs> I had cement boots on. <laughs> Must have been after Dubai. And then, and then I went to head one back to Big Man, I think. Sold him short. And then got lucky that um, Donaldson probably thought that we was out and went to tap it in. And I just nipped in again. <laughs> Horrid time. To be fair, we must have been going for a phase, and even if we went a goal or two, or two down, we still had the, that belief, didn't we? Because we did it a couple of times in that season. Mm. Even when it's time, we're a little bit nervy. Because after that was the two big away games, Brighton and Reading. Reading I, I remember the Brighton game, because I had Luar Luar was playing on the left, and it, I always had tough games against him for like the past two or three years. But I felt like we, we performed really well. We were just waiting for that goal to come. Um, everyone was, was on it and then Yanni obviously scored the free kick and then Cal went through scored that goal and I remember the celebration everyone climbing on Yanni and that was when we kind of felt that and Reading away which was we, we were hanging on at Reading away it was a short it was smart then, casual uh, yeah well I didn't think anyone would see I forgot I, I forgot that no one see um, <laughs> me bottom off <laughs> but Chaz what about after the Reading game we, I think oh, the feelings are in the changing room it was so nervy at the end. We we, we almost yeah. knew them. We had a proper chance. We didn't have a man sent off. I just remember being back no, to the wall. Last no, yeah, we were just we were just hanging on. I remember Fed being like near it, over near the halfway line, just lumping balls into the box the last few minutes, and uh, us just literally yeah. defending for our lives and just. We're trying to get it away as much as we can. Did we score? Really we scored early, early yeah. Cal. Yeah, well, a lovely goal. I just remember we took about four and a half, five thousand fans, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, it was good. Tom, do you think? Do you think that game, those kind of games, the season before, we were probably losing then? Like we yeah. took some big defeats in the first season, the champ. But we yeah. could actually, in the second season, we knew we could mix it a little bit physically if we needed to. Yeah, and I think I don't know. Looking back, my memory's terrible, but looking back, I think 
different teams tried to do different stuff against us, and a lot of them would try and beat us up, wouldn't they? Yeah. But, yeah. You know, just physically, I felt we were so much fitter and sharper than everyone else. Mm. That was almost the worst thing you could do against us. Because yeah. you just keep punching your back for 90 minutes. Um, Definitely. And it almost suited us. But them, them nights, like the Reading one, now you mention it, and the Brighton ones, the Reading one, we was hanging on for dear life. And it brings you together again. Um, Makes that win better, doesn't it? Even yeah. more special. I think the Ken, Ken win came on and just was just heading balls away. Yeah. Yeah, I think like? he'd come in like, yeah. Come on, said, oh. Yeah. That was and another was one. Just, yeah. Remember the Ipswich? Was that over the Easter weekend? Yeah, Joyce, yeah. hasn't put that in here. That was a big point, that when Kenwin come on. Yeah. Yeah, big I got subbed. On. I got subbed for him. Did you? <laughs> did you? Yeah. What did we go for? I can't remember that. Pretty yeah, bad. yeah, I was off, mate. I was off. <laughs> I, I, was, I went through a period where I was first sub off. No way. <laughs> yeah. You're just resting your mate, resting your legs. Sheffield Wednesday, I was off. Well, the game I got sent off in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think um, someone came on for me. Might have been Wardy. Yeah, Wardy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got. I was off, mate. Did we go three in the back? Okay. No. Well, I got straight slot. Straight slot, Ty. <laughs> well, the one I got. Um. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So I came off, and I think then you got sent off. Yeah. So then we'd obviously use all our subs so, as well. And Smudge gave the penalty away. He was a bit upset, wasn't he, after the game? Oh, oh. Very upset. Oh, I've ruined it for everyone. Uh, you're, you're out of <laughs> I, I was the one who got sent off. I was gutted. Then Smudge came in and started saying, ah, you took it you right for me. Um, to be yeah, fair, that, to be fair that, that everything just that worked for us. I do think everyone felt, yeah. I think that got us promoted because then Middlesbrough felt that they had to win that game. For some reason, yeah, away at Fulham. Mm. Even like, oh, smart, I remember that. Yeah. We had like, for me, we had obviously Frano. I thought he was the best by a mile, right back in the league. And then Smudge, if take you out the out of the equation, Smudge was probably the next best. Yeah. When you actually look back, like Wee Man, Wee Man was weren't playing, was he? Junior and no. Brett, he wasn't getting as many games as as the season before. The squad was just so strong, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it I, was I remember that. Underrated. I think only two two players got on the team of the year as well. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was just me and Matty, but easily you could have had other lads in there. I can't remember the rest of the team, but I actually I remember I sitting actually, in the car. Um, that... Sent it over to Tom the other night. Yeah, really. Yeah, there's a few felt surprises like, in there. Yeah, yeah. felt yeah. done by the yeah. other lads. Who was, who was in there? Russell Martin. Was he? Russell Martin mm-hmm. got in it, and I can't remember now. Is it the one? Ben Gibson? Ben Gibson, as we say. Who was sure. left back then, Chaz? George Friend. Who was Friend? He was left back, was he? Like, if, if you look at it, like, Cal didn't even get in it. Cal. Did he not? No. Nah. Nah. We had two two players, didn't it? Yeah. Crazy. I rem- I, do you remember that, uh, the Fulham Middlesbrough game? Because I was sitting in my car and we was on the group chat, weren't we? Yeah. That was the most nervous I've ever been. Yeah. So then, as soon as we knew, just beat Bolton. That was it. Obviously, I didn't play. I was in the stand. I, was, I, just, I felt like a fan for the first time ever. Just, just hoping and praying that that we won the game. So, lads, you you talk about that. Cause I can't remember what, what it was obviously like on the pitch. I don't know. It was weird, wasn't it, Tom? Because we started a bit slow. I thought we did. Do you know what? I didn't realise how long it took us to score. Man, no, yeah, but I didn't realise how many chances they had either. I know. When I look back, I thought I thought we went one 0 up really early, but we didn't. It took about half hour, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like 39 minutes. Man. We scored two in, two in four minutes or something like that. And then I, th- I think once we got the, the one, it was... Yeah. 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 Once you got one, then it was, it was... I think everyone started to relax a bit. And then uh, football took over, didn't it? And then yeah. I think they had a man sent off. And then it was... Uh, it just went from there, didn't it? And then we can start enjoying that. Job, it? In the good old period yeah. job. It's just trust me. Trust me. Matty, Matty's second goal, the, the second goal was... Oh, what the finish. Do you know, yeah. when, we, when, it, when the club put it on the other day, you don't realise how good a goal it was. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, well, I watched Matty, that, like Matty I said, the Charlton game that I'll, I'll come to in a minute. I thought we played some unbelievable football. Even even now, if you look at it, if we were playing that kind of football, it would be it'd stand out. We just we got a grip on teams and just passed them off the park at times. They couldn't get anywhere near us. Yeah. And that was leg- about. Oh, I was double legging for the first 15, 20 minutes. 
But no, when we got going, yeah, nothing better. Uh, got, got a great picture though, Tom, of everyone carrying you, all, all the fans, the whole stadium. Yeah, from that was Bob. iconic, mate. After the game, yeah, that was that was good scene. To be fair, that was I'll never forget that. I mean, League One promotion was special, but then when you get Championship, everyone in the changing room, yeah. and then we went to we went to Halo, was it? Halo, yeah. Uh, we had all the fans in there. June and Cow were on the mic when they on the stage. They were rapping <laughs> on stage. Rapping on stage, and then that was like the first couple of days of a little bender we had, and then the, the bus parade, um, yeah. which was unbelievable. To be fair, I, I never ever expected the beach and, and the fans to be out like they were, because we were so quiet. We got picked up, didn't we? On like a around the back of a. Um, it was like If you go back to the League One promotion, like I thought that surpassed expectations because we pulled up into the town centre and it was quite busy, and I was a little okay. bit surprised. But then I remember as well we went down the uh, was we got down the Wessex Way. Yeah, it was Mike, yeah. Mike Bassett, mate. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> The and then we just no, we turned the corner down at Boscombe, didn't we? And as we turned, it was just <laughs> yeah, like, unbelievable. On, on the whole beach was covered. Yeah, that, that was special, yeah, because we never experienced that again. That was. Um, I think Jan, Jan had a good day that day. Gosh, oh, Yanni was on the champagne Yanni. from nine a.m. Yanni's only just sobered up. <laughs> yeah, the, the picture, all the pictures I saw, he was on the um, on the champagne. <laughs> Him and his liver jacket. <laughs> so then, obviously, yeah, we we finished season at Charlton and. Um, pretty exciting day as well um, with the way the results went for us. Because I, I remember before the game, I, I don't know if we were Watford were expected to beat Chef Wednesday. So I, I never thought I oh, will we'll get top here. I, I always just thought, make sure we win the game. That's that's all we can do. And I don't even think I thought about it during the game. But I was saying to Joycey before, before you boys came on, the first I knew about it was H was running up and down the touchline, screaming <laughs> that, um, I like that him. Chef Wednesday had scored. Yeah, yeah, I was going mental and I heard the fans. Oh, I was over the far side and all I remember is, is I think, Tommy, I think you started, started screaming. Tommy, yeah. And, well, then, I, then, and then, yeah, and then I saw, and I looked over at the bench and then everyone was up, like, celebrating with each other. And then yeah, uh, yeah. I was, the fans started cheering. It was oh, special. I actually saw on uh, Twitter the other day, was it New Who Day? The Bournemouth New fans called it New Who Day. Is that New Who? New Who? Yeah, well, I was that who scored, was it? Against what? Yeah, yeah. I was a Bournemouth legend. Yeah, I loved I loved winning there and, and getting promoted, especially when they yes. told me I weren't good enough. Yeah. Oh, you I loved it. I loved it getting there. Yeah. And um for H scored, didn't he? He got released yeah. twice by Charlton in one year. So I think <laughs> twice, <it> was, <laughs> twice, yeah. Got released twice in one year and I think he was buzzing to go back and score yeah, he loved that, for the Prem. Unbelievable. That was top draw. Um yeah, Joyce has asked us about what, what the gaffer said to us after the game during the season, how he was. Um, for me, he was just how he is now, really. He just took everything in his stride, game game after game. Um, never got too high, never got too low. If, if we lost a couple of games, that's how I saw him. And, and he's still the same now, you know, top manager. What, what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Thought was, I thought he was very good at, like... Um, like obviously you boys are still there, but when you come away, you don't realise how good he is until you're not getting it anymore. I've said that quite a bit. Um, but I just remember he was very clever in the way he used to match his messages to the moment almost. And, and I don't know, he used to bring fans in who were probably having a hard time and would introduce them to the group and just keep you humble. And I always remember the little videos he used to play. And I don't know, he was just... Uh, yeah, he, 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 like you said, I think the best thing about him was, was the fact that he never got too high, never got too low. And if he was ever struggling, we just went to work, didn't we? we, we was, uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's just so good at obviously um, putting a game into like the moment. So I think there was when we used to play Leeds, um, he used to just remind us how it meant to the fans, and that there was, it was a big rivalry of the. I think they trashed yeah. the town, didn't they, 20 years ago? Or, but he was very good yeah. at putting everything together to bring the players closer to the fans and the club to make them realise. So I think that's that's the biggest thing, why that connection he has to the fans and the club. Mm. I think it, he puts over his emotions to the players, which gets everything, I think, all the blood's flowing. Oh, yeah, and for me, yeah, as a coach, obviously, by a million miles, he's the best I've played for because when I signed for... Bournemouth, he, he wasn't there. Bradders was the manager, and 
it was a step down for me from Charlton. I just thought I've got to get some games really. And I obviously never thought we'd get to the Premier League or I'd be playing in the Premier League. I thought Championship might be the highest I'd get again. Until he came back and started, he gave me that belief, took my game on to the next level, I thought. And Charles obviously playing on the other side. Even even though he hadn't played fullback in his career, he, he had us in some unbelievable positions. And obviously the, the way we trained, the patterns of play we worked on week in, week out, we'd come out on a game day. And he made me believe that, that then, at that championship season especially, that I could get to the Premier League and, and play at that level. Yeah, I think the way he utilised us, say me, you, me and you, Frano, the way that he wanted us to attack and with the wingers that he had there when he bringing in Matty and having Dewey fifth inside, you know, it suited everyone's game really and it suited the way that he wanted to play and the way we all wanted to play really. And I think that's what gave us the connection. So anyone that come into the squad had to recreate it. Yeah. So they never changed his philosophy for that League One Championship really. And anyone who wanted to come in, they had to meet the expectations. And what, yeah, I know it's hard to, maybe hard to answer now while she's still in the game, but for me, that was my favourite ever, ever season. Look, playing in the Premier League, you can't, you can't match that because it's a top level of football. But the emotions that we, we went through most weeks and that winning feeling every week, Tom's especially, that, for me, that's the best season and the best, the best game at Charlton away, getting promoted, my best um, experience in football. Yeah, um, same. Like, I just think where we all were in our lives as well, off, off the pitch and uh, the girls all really got close. I think you, you might have been the only one with sort of, you had Ali at the time, didn't you? But the rest of us yeah. were sort of getting to that next stage in our lives where we get married and we'd all sort of taken knockbacks. But yeah, to bottle up that again, like, it was absolutely priceless. And I've come away now and, and had success, relative success and uh, had good times. But to get anywhere... Yeah, it, it, it's not unimpressive. Yeah. Cookie, you say the same or? Oh, without a doubt, I think, like you say, that winning feeling every week. But it was, it's strange because I can't remember ever going into a game and feeling the pressure. I think yeah. we, we were so confident as a team that we would just win. Like, you just, we would just roll out. And maybe, I don't know if we was, just didn't realise what we were achieving at the time. Yeah. So I don't think you realise what you're doing until like you can take a step back and, and 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 look back at what we've done. But it was just incredible, wasn't it? Like we never even I don't think we doubted that that Bolton game was, was surreal because we were just sat in the change room like it was a normal game and we was ninety minutes away from the Premier League. Yeah. yeah. It, it, was, it was just strange. So I remember think that's just um, a compliment to all the lads. Huh? Do you remember the team talk at Bolton? No. I don't think I'd, yeah. I yeah. remember um, he, he played a video to us just before we, we went out. We'd come in a little bit earlier and he played a video to us. He used to do it, he used to update it quite regularly and play it to us maybe when we were on a good run or maybe not on a good run. And he basically played the whole history of the club out in sort of five minutes and then just left like the next stage for us to fill. Um, turn the lights out, and then I just remember everyone was just red, like red off their eyeballs, and no way we might have been the, the interstellar music, ch- cooking, huh? That's it. Well, was it that, that if it was, was that one? this is what I mean about what, what the way he pulled everyone in together, obviously, to yeah. get time perfect. And was it Matthew Mah- Mah- Mahonahay? Matthew McConaughey, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey yeah. He does a few things in that film, doesn't he? And, and the music gets you. Oh. And then when you're watching clips of us scoring goals and playing well. Hey, maybe we need to um, get that video back and just replay it. But he used to, he used to, he used to like, put our team back to the team of 87 and the teams with Mal Machin and, and Harry Redknapp. And I think he used to like face quite a lot of problems about. Um, like we used he used to, to pause the, a Mal Machin underlap. Yeah. <laughs> he used to pause it through the video chance. <laughs> we, were, we were watching Zabaleta and Leighton Baines and then we had Mel Yeah, Mason, I was watching Leighton Baines and Stephen Pina. Me and Pugh were uh, all season. Yeah, it's just it's The way he used to link everything together. Was just... Yeah, he's very clever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, had a, we had a good group there. Not just the lads, but the staff as well. Every, everyone. Yeah. The, whole, the whole field that season, definitely. So, hey, good times, boys. Great reunion. I wanted to uh, finish. Well, Joyce has got a couple of questions. For everyone, little quick fire round to finish. So each person to pick their favourite goal of the season to start with. I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. I think um, it's hard to look past cookies. I've got to be honest. I mean, we scored a couple 
yeah, against fine. Charlton. Like the first goal for Matty was a great move. At Charlton. Oh. That just that was us in a nutshell like, throughout the whole season. Um, got a one-off, one-off strike from Cookie was unbelievable. To be fair, so and I scored against Wigan. That was a worldie. So um, probably, probably that one as well. It's, it's, it's tough to choose, but yeah, I'll go Cookies. Definitely. Cheers, Si. Appreciate that, mate. I'm, I might follow. I might follow on from that then. Um, hey, Tom. I don't think you scored many that season. But Rotherham away. Oh, no. <laughs> Rotherham away. Freezing cold. We were struggling as well. Struggling. I think yeah. But the week before we beat them six one in the FA Cup or something like that. Yeah. We come up the next week and had eleven different players. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I remember. I think I'll give you a little snog, Tom. So, <laughs> our, uh, it wasn't obviously a great goal, but it was um, a big goal for us at the time. It was a lot of them, yeah, yeah, very important one. Yeah. I now, now, Tom, you've got to give one to Chaz. You've got to give Chaz the best goal. Uh, <laughs> I've got, oh, yeah. How many did you score, Chaz? I can't remember. Yeah, the one you, you can. Birmingham, was I, it? The one, I can remember it smashing it into the ground and then, yeah. I'd be you can't remember how many you've got. Oh, I wouldn't have a clue. Okay. I like Matty's against Cholton. I like Matty's against Cholton. Cookies was the best for like individual. Yeah, yeah. individually. I thought a big goal. H's against, H's against Borough was, H's was H's an H's unbelievable strike. Yeah. Um, H's against Cardiff was a good goal. Oh, yeah, he was on a little oh, roll there, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, Yanni's over a kick against Ipswich. Oh, Yanni. Oh, yeah. 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 That, yeah. that was yeah. goal of the season. That was goal of the season. So we can't Is that one goal of the season? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't like talking about that one. He was like our Eric Cantona, wasn't he? I loved Jan. He was. He was yeah, well, let's talk about Yanni because he obviously retired a couple of weeks ago and dropped a little message. He said he's going to try and get over and, and see everybody. But yeah. how important was he? Because he came in. <laughs> he must have run out of internet, so he didn't text me back. <laughs> really? He's oh, got to tough up. He was tight. You know what he was like? He was tight with his money. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe he hasn't topped up his phone yet. He liked a game of golf, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. always good down the back nine, wasn't he? <laughs> he was, yeah. yeah. Lo- lovely swing. <laughs> he, uh, he was underrated, though, I think, outside of, outside of us. I mean, I played with Scotland, so I knew what, what he was about. But that season, he just, especially playing with Cal and dropping into that 10, he was unbelievable. I've never known anyone head a ball as hard as he could kick it. Oh, my God. He could pull his neck back so far <laughs> to get on the end of a header. Unbelievable thing. <laughs> he 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 was unplayable. He was just so against like the grain, like the size of him and the way he could move. He, he, he obviously yeah, had a yeah. hard childhood, didn't he? And he had leukemia or whatever. And yeah. Like, yeah. Like, if he had come into the game earlier, like he would have played at the top level for sure. He was, oh, he no was, doubt. No doubt. He like, was brilliant, wasn't he? And he was on it. Like he could be a bit, he was like our maverick. He could, one day you could sort of come into training and he would be miles mm. off it. Like, and, a bit temperamental, and then the next day when it meant something to him, he was bang on it. Um, so it was, he, he was probably he was one that took a little bit of managing, I think, as well, because he didn't yeah. play every game. Brett used to come in a bit. Um, he was an emotional player, wasn't he? Yanni? Exactly, yeah. But he, he well, was, didn't he when, when he when he knew his dad was coming to watch Cookie? Was that right? He, he always turned it on. Yeah. So it was. I think his the his first goals for us. I think his family came over, mm. and we was waiting for him to score a goal, and he scored that trick. So um, really? I think I think someone was trying to get his mum and dad to move over it permanent. <laughs> Probably. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had a lot of top players that season. Obviously, Joyce, you said for us to go through player of the season. I'd, I'd probably say Matty. I think we've got to give Matty a special mention, only because yeah. I played with him on the right-hand side. And he, he always says that I made his game easier because I'd just bomb up and down. But he made my game so easy because I could give him it no matter where he was. He was good in tight areas. He wasn't your dribble past a, a fullback kind of winger or that pacey, but his ability on the ball and the way he could play in our team and, and the way it functioned and me getting around him or underlapping him and him linking with the front two, he was, for me, my, my player of that season. He was top draw. Yeah, I'll give Matty as well, to be fair. Yeah. What did he get? 17 goals? Yeah, he did, yeah. 13 so assists or something? Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm training as well because... He never. He was. He's always on it. Oh, he's always, every training session. Yeah, he, he was when he chose. I mean, hey, playing against him, obviously every every training session, he was on it twenty four seven, and he would not. He would 
Let out. Sirs was class, mate. Yeah. He, yeah. He was oh, was that when he was drunk at the end of the season awards yeah. and he had to stand up? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Like, he was getting announced and he was in the toilet. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah that, that, that yeah, was Sirs in a nutshell. He was a great player. Oh. Just, he just kept everything moving. Like, went under the radar, like you said, but for the lads to vote for him, he was... He was class that season. Him and Harry. Yeah, really to beat to part. beat you and to beat you and Matty, I think H that, H just shows, that just shows how good he was. H was unbelievable that season as well. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, he, he, he was up there for me. Matty, yeah. I think, like everyone said, Matty was pretty inspirational character. And he drove. I think the only reason Matty didn't win it because he was so obvious that he probably. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Can't get big. Uh, big man was a big player for us as well. Yeah, he was. That's what yeah, he's he was gone through that team, one to eleven. It's just like everyone just yeah. had an unbelievable season yeah. in their own right. And uh, just to finish, the favourite game of the season, obviously loads to choose from. Um, I'll probably just go Charlton on, on a personal note, just because the way we finished it and, and getting promoted champions. But going back there after I'd moved on from the club to, to do it there was better for me than going anywhere else to, to get promoted. So. For me, that was the, the game of the season, definitely. I'll go, um, I think Brighton away. Yeah. For me, I think, um, obviously, to go back to Brighton as well, which is nice, get a win. Um, personally, I, I think I'd taken a little bit of criticism from the manager, um, obviously behind closed doors, so I was needed something to prove that, that night as well. So, And it set us up to to really go and get promoted, I think. So, I'll go Brighton away. Yeah, I'll yeah. probably have to go Brighton away. Um, so I'd have to go, yeah. yeah, I'd have to go Birmingham, Birmingham away. Just, it's, it's just such a dominant performance of scoring eight goals. Yeah. It was uh, probably the nicest match I've ever played in. It was, uh, Game, yes. No games are easy, but that from that from the first minute, it was, we were comfortable, weren't we? Right, he got sent yeah. off a minute in, did he? Yeah. Is that, yeah. A, is that what it was? David Edgar. And then every, every since then it was just <laughs> Squire. Who's Squire? Who got set off? Who got set off? Is it, was it David Edgar? I was like, oh, it's an Edgar Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Tom, like, Tom. Thomas was playing up front, wasn't he? I think he needed Edgar Edgar Daffy's glasses. Yeah. Like, he did yeah. get dragged, didn't he? Yeah, he was fuming. Yeah, angry he, words. You come for me, didn't you, on the pitch? You, I thought he was going to jab me again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Wes, eh? Good uh, times, eh? Hey, lads. No, wait, mate, wait, mate. Pleasure. <laughs> Time's flown by. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> hey, how John, fast is, anything else? Or? Is anyone close to a testimonial yet? Oh, I think so, we've got one more John, year, have we? One more year. Oh, hey, lads, look, yeah. we'll get this on camera. I was the first one to sign, so that means I'm first. Well, yeah, but be... you're the youngest. So you got to be last. You're the youngest. Yeah, exactly. Uh, You'll uh, still be there, so you can't have it yet. Uh, I'll wait for that new stadium. Some are behind closed doors. <laughs> <laughs>